Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love. Today I wanted to make a video to give you a little bit of an update and let you know that my dog Jessie passed away on the weekend. I was with Peter, he was running the Kokoda challenge um, on Saturday and I had my phone turned off because um, I had no battery and I know I needed to keep in contact with his mom in Ireland and let her know what was going on and there was no reception and it was just like a combination of everything. So when I got to one of the checkpoints, I turned my phone on and I had like five missed calls and I was like, what the hell is going on? Anyway, so I, um, I called my mom because she had messaged me and my sister and had all these Facebook messages and stuff. So I called my mom and, and she was like, Jesse passed away. And... I was like in shock and I was like okay but then I knew I had to be strong because Peter was going to be coming to the checkpoint and he was coming up to like 60 k's and I knew that I had to you know be positive for him um, and then there was like three hours in between checkpoints when I saw Peter and my mom sent me pictures of Jesse and the vet and he was awful he was so awful we've had Jesse for um, we had her for 14 years and you would have seen her in my vlogs when I went back home to Mackay and she was amazing and I think what I learnt about having a dog was that you that there is such thing as unconditional love and that animals are just like us they feel pain like we do they sense emotions they know when people need comforting she could sense when i w was going to be flying back to the gold coast and she would like sleep next to me when i would come home even though she wasn't allowed on the carpet but i kind of let her because i missed her and um so a lot of i don't know it just i've been a mess for like three days and this is the first time i actually look like a human in ages and sometimes I just need to put makeup on and have a shower and wear my crystals do my eyebrows to make me function again so it hasn't been a nice time I just wanted to say thank you to all those beautiful people that sent me um, beautiful messages on Instagram um, and on snapchat I just wanted to say thank you so much and if you have ever been in the situation, you know how difficult it is. I think for me, I'm more so um, upset that I'm not at home because Jesse is in Mackay, which is like an hour and a half flight for where I am. And I wasn't there when she passed away. And I never got to see her get buried. And, um, it just sucks to miss out on those those parts of um, mourning and grief and all the stages and being with my family and so I've kind of got like the backhand information like as it's already happened and like yeah it's just sad and it just made me think about like all those dogs that were getting slaughtered at um, the Yulin festival and Mark Cheng was there to try and rescue them all which he did an amazing job and it just makes me think that not just the dog festival but like animals in general every day animals are getting slaughtered you know if you're a meat eater then you are contributing to that industry and that industry is also causing you illness and disease within your body you're not only taking an animal's life if you consume meat or dairy but you are you are um, you're supporting an industry that does not need to be there. No animal desire, desire, deserves to be killed for your own selfish greed because you want steak on your plate or you want eggs and bacon. You know, there's no need for that. So, Jesse taught me a lot about love and compassion and animals and yeah, so it just it just really got me thinking the last couple of days about how people get so attached to pets but you know just when people say they love animals it's like no you don't love animals you love pets if you still eat meat and dairy you love pets you love your pet your domesticated pet that's amazing but you know what you need to make the connection and know that 
a domesticated pet is the same as a cow, you know, or a sheep. Oh God, my battery's low, going down. I have to be quick. They're all the same. We're all connected. The way you can make the world better is to go vegan, make choices to better yourself every single day. Watch my videos, Delicious and Nutritious, my self-love videos. Because if you love who you are and you believe in karma, there is no way you're putting dead animals into your body. Anyway, so I just wanted to leave you with some footage of my beautiful Jessie. She'll be missed every single day. Thanks so much for thank you so much for watching everyone and for your support. I just wanted to let you know because when I go home, Jessie's always in my vlogs, so I just wanted to give you the heads up and kind of avoid those questions if they ever were to come up when I go home. Anyways, my loves, thank you so much for watching. Remember, all animals are exactly the same. They are beautiful, they have pain, they have a they have a central nervous system, which means they feel pain just like us. Make better choices, change the world, not only for your health, the animals, but also to save our planet. I love you so much. Thanks for watching, my loves. I hope you enjoy this little montage of my beautiful Jessie.